Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. I want you to see my new heat press. Just came in today. This was purchased by a viewer for me. It was actually donated to the channel. And I am so appreciative. It is beyond words. This thing is a monster compared to that one broken one way down there in the dark. This is my machine shop. Pardon the mess. But anyway, as you can see, it is just built like a tank. Needs a little bit of oil in that hinge right there, but 15 by 15, so I'll be able to do 11 by 14s on aluminum and anything as large as 15 by 15, of course. Big platen is still warm from a little project that I just got done creating for my son. Again, this thing is built like a tank compared to the flimsy construction of the previous heat press. It's got a beautiful dial, pressure control. You can do up to, I believe, half inch thick material. I'm gonna be doing some ceramic tile work. I want you to see the tiles right there. And so, yeah. I'm very satisfied and very, very happy to have this baby in the shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the print room and I'm gonna show you what I just got done creating with this. There's gonna be a lot more to come with this. All right, I am now back in the room. My son is a huge fan of science fiction, fantasy type art. So he's always looking for images to send to his dad for printing. And this is one of them. I want you to take a look how beautiful that came out. This is on 5x7 Chromalux satin surface substrate. Look at the back. I have the little hardware that Mike Cheney from Q Image printed on his 3D printer for me. And they are fabulous. This will mount perfectly. He's going to love this. I told him to get a little area ready in his room. He's got so many of these already. But anyway, I just wanted to quickly share this with you. The results came out fantastic. The heat distribution on that platen is perfect, unlike the previous machine. That's not to say that I'm going to toss it. I hope that now that I have a contact with heatpressnation.com, I'm going to contact them, see if there is a way possible that I can buy some sort of power supply that will be compatible with that flimsy Chinese press. I mean, it works. It works okay. Maybe it's a lost cost. Who knows? Anyway, so that is it. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy this. There's going to be a ton more content coming up. Again, that playlist will begin when we get back from our trip at the beginning of July. I will begin to do that. All right, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Have fun printing aluminum. If you get into sublimation, this is it, folks. This thing matches the monitor. So I think it has to do with the fact that I have come up with a bit of a preset to adjust the image color-wise a little bit before I print the transfer paper print, which I then transfer beautifully on that new press onto this wonderful and amazing Chromalux substrate. All right, that is it. Happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.